There has been only one story this week in British Celebrity Land, and that story was, what does Kirsty Alsop think of the placement of your washing machine aka, just doing our best to make Europe feel just fine about Britain leaving the EU, Cap'n. Now, we're going to pull back a little here and tell a story about this faction of Lee, which has lived in this country for more than two decades but still finds there are some things that still make no sense. Like, is it posh or not posh to eat in the kitchen and, why do your posh people wear such terrible clothes and their ties? Oh my god, can we discuss their ties also why do they all call their dogs names like Sam and their children Sixtus in other words, class. Lee doesn't understand the difference between lower upper lower middle class and upper lower middle middle class although it is clear on the fact that the only thing that shows less class than not understanding class is asking questions about it. Class is Britain's fight club, the one rule is we do not mention it while simultaneously mentioning it in every sentence. And like Eliza Doolittle, all Lee can do is spin around in the street, clutching its dying flowers, waiting for someone to explain, once and for all, if it should make its own Christmas pudding or buy one from Waitrose. But who's that, in the distance, sauntering up the street, probably selling a villa in Spain and hand-making 10,000 holiday ornaments before noon it can only be Kirstie Alsop, someone with even more jobs than George Osborne, is this another posh thing, but whose primary job this week has been shedding light on the British class system, again. Some have criticized the daughter of the sixth Baron Hindlip for this Kirsty does not like it when people mention her background, but given Liz is already professed ignorance, coming from the colonies and all, hopefully Kirsty will maintain a good shop front this time, as Nancy Mitford would say. But Lee perches at her knee, desperate to learn how to pass muster at Ascot, or get invited to Chipping Norton for the weekend, the modern equivalent thereof. Where does the rain in Spain fall, Kirsty who cares? We have washing machines to deal with. Matters kicked off this week when Jim Watterson, young friend of this column and news reporter Big Wig, mentioned, in passing to a friend, Americans, in our office are always confused by the British habit of putting washing machines in kitchens and view this as disgusting. Alsop, who never came across a domestic matter she didn't have an opinion on, barreled on in. It is disgusting, my life's work is in part dedicated to getting washing machines out of the kitchen, she tweeted to her 400,000 followers. Instantly, Britain's collective ears perked, was that a class dog whistle on the breeze to the keyboards. Suddenly, Britain was riven in two like never before, and the Prime Minister is said to be considering another referendum. On the one hand are the Remainers, people snarkily asking Alsop where, exactly, they should keep their washing machine, maybe in the smoking room next to the billiards room in their third castle, yeah? Julia Hartley Brewer was so outraged that someone who wasn't her had sparked a Twitter feud that she wrote a furious column in The Sun dissecting Alsop's apparent class snobbery by being quite a snob about Alsop. Can't beat him, Julia join him. On the other are the Wexiders, who firmly agree washing machines must leave the Thank you.